Hello and welcome to Mokta Talk Series. We're in conversation with Marina Rubakova, representing here Rare Art Fair. Rare is a new fair happening in Milan, dedicated to 100 artists, presented by seven curators, opening on the 30th of October 2020. Rare Art Fair is reactive, raw, radical and new. Enjoy the talk. Okay, we're online. Hey. Hello. Hi, Tina. Oh, good, good. Thanks. What about you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Well, working from home, so it's been okay. Same. Yeah. Same. Same. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for connecting with me tonight. Um, we are here. There's quite a number of us already that are um, online on this video chat. We are interested in learning all about rare offer and um, how you guys started on this project and how can people apply. I've seen you shared already the, um, the art fair link on Instagram. So everyone interested, please follow the link from Marina and you can connect there as well. But yes, if you wanna start by telling um, everyone how you guys started with this new art fair. Uh, first of all, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Marina. And uh, the story is quite simple. We have uh, got together with some of my friends from the university and not only from the art scene in Milan. And we have all sort of agreed on one thing, that there's an art fair, an independent art fair or a degree show, but on a bigger level that's missing in the city. Mm -hmm. And that's when we decided that something should be done about it and we should... Uh, try and suggest a solution mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how we uh, came up with Rhea and uh, yeah we're now making it uh, come true that's so great and um, you said that the fair is um, addressed to young artists and people that are still in school or just about to leave school how did you come up with this idea and what do you think are the um, you know, the reasons why such a fair is needed. Sure, I mean, uh, as I already mentioned, the degree show is, as a concept and as an event, is uh, missing in the Italian art schools, art academies. And that's mm -hmm. something that really surprises uh, me personally, um, because, I mean, in the UK, the tradition of degree shows is so indispensable to art, artistic education that you cannot even imagine that there, there are places that don't have these events. And mm -hmm. yet here we are and there are no degree shows in Milan and no actual uh, exposition opportunities for art students. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, so there's uh, none have, of this yeah. kind in Italy. So that will be the first art fair of its kind dedicated to art students. It's not dedicated uh, to our students 100%. We're still accepting people from all backgrounds, also non-academic backgrounds, uh, but we are closely collaborating with art schools, such as the Brera Academy, the NABA, the IED Institute of Design, and some, some other academies. So is the idea to make this uh, easy entry to the, to the art market for, for young artists and to also access it with an easy entry. Yeah, that's exactly the point. <laughs> and how can people apply? Um, there's a uh, registration form on our website, reafair.com. It's uh, really easy, you just fill it out. There's uh, a few fields that's and the graphic data, your contact data, and then we request uh, an image of an artwork Mm -hmm. and an artistic project or an artist statement so we can get a better idea of what you may potentially want to exhibit in the fair. We don't set any limits for the size uh, or the, the thematic of the artwork, uh, but there are seven categories that you can uh, apply for. And can artists submit multiple projects or is it limited to just the one project? Uh, they can submit multiple projects. I see, okay, that's great. Is there any fee for accessing the open call? Um, there is a fee of 15 euros for the application itself. Mm -hmm. but Which we're is very working, accessible for Yes, we're yeah. working really hard to, uh, to make sure that 
aside besides the 15 euros the artists don't have to pay anything else which is also unseen in italy looking at the other fairs or the other exhibitions uh, that are around in the area mm -hmm. we've got so, some questions coming through um somebody's asking why always young artists i think marina also mentioned that there's also a section dedicated to more experienced artists if they would like to take part but maybe you can tell us a bit more about the the also the sections that the fair we have um and then um francesco is asking if um, you have any advice some... for miami based artists Uh, absolutely. So why always young artists? It's a really good question. Very provocative in a sense, uh, because we've had the uh, heated debates within our uh, collective, uh, people who are working on the, organizing the fair, mm -hmm. uh, because it's not an easy thing to do. Most artists who are emerging and are in art school, and we're talking 90% are under 35. This is a fact of statistics. And of course, we cannot exclude those who are over 35 or outside of the young, so-called young age. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, we have decided to really accept applications from people of all ages and all backgrounds. However, looking at our close collaboration with academies, we understand that most of the exhibition will be from young and emerging artists. I see. Okay. And I'm sure that answers the question. And do you have any um, um, tips for artists based in Miami? Uh, for my, Miami artists? Um, that's a good question as well. Thank you, Francesco. Um, for Miami artists, I think if you're working in the street art or an innovative a category, innovative technique, like digital art. There's really lots of things going on, especially in December, but also all year round. Mm -hmm. uh, during Art Basel, there's so many pop-up shows. There's so many independent exhibitions where you can just uh, absolutely apply and I'm sure you'll be accepted at multiple opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, as an emerging artist, because somebody here is asking, you know, if you're over 35 let's say but you're you're an emerging artist is there a section where you can still apply as an emerging artist uh we don't divide our sections as per age we have divided okay. them per category of uh, the typology of uh, medium so there's painting and drawing there's sculpture there's mixed media digital art street art uh, photography video art and performance art okay that's great so i'm sure that answer um the question yes <laughs> and um when does it start what are the dates uh sure it starts on october 30s and it's going to last for three days until november 1st okay. in uh, milan italy of course and is there a location has that been announced yes. or is it still a secret no no location has been announced it has been the, one of the first things we've announced because we've been lucky to have uh accepted a proposal from the Comune di Milano, uh, mm -hmm. the Italian Milanese municipality, who have uh, assigned a location of Fabrico del Vapore for this project. And it's a really stunning location. It's full of light. It has two stories. It's two stories high. It's just a stunning location for an art fair. Fantastic. So I'm sure people will be thrilled to participate. Yeah. Um, and I was going to ask, is there any restriction on the artworks for example media or size or um, installation or are there any guidelines on which artworks can be submitted um, interesting question we don't pose any restrictions for size mm -hmm. uh, because we are looking to get a really uh, versatile and a really um, non uh, non-typical exhibition. We're really looking at the curatorial part of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday I was approached by an artist who was filling out the application saying, so should I, since it's an art fair, should I submit my most commercial artwork or my most innovative and crazy and uh, uh, interesting artwork? And I said, absolutely the second, because for us, the commercial side is still the second matter. And we are first and foremost trying to showcase the emerging talents, trying to showcase the most innovative and the most uh, interesting artists. Okay, so that's what you feel you would 
um, invite or suggest people to do? Yes. To submit the most creative or daring and bold artwork. Yeah. Amazing. I think even it's if it's a... huge and uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And you also mentioned about some, some partnerships or curatorial. Um, is there anything that you feel you can reveal to us or in terms of the um, collaborations or partners that you're going to have for the fair? Because correct me if I'm wrong, this is going to be the first fair of its kind happening in Milan in its first edition. Yes. Uh, we are looking closely at multiple partnerships at the moment and we're hoping mm -hmm. to... Uh, secure one with Mogda and with you for the digital <laughs> section. Uh, very excited about it. Um, for the rest Me of the too, partnerships. Yes. <laughs> uh, for the rest of the partnerships and um, it's still in the making. I can't announce anything just yet. We have lots of media partners. That's mm -hmm. what I can say for now. We have uh, Art Nomad Milan, Elisabetta, who is supporting us with her online channels. We have the Art Gorgeous. Uh, the online and print magazine are also uh, supporting us uh, in communication. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to announce a few things soon. So there will be a, a good media coverage from what you're yeah. saying. Amazing. Um, we've got a couple of more questions coming through. Somebody is asking what are the benefits for the artists to take part in this fair? Um, so if you feel like you want to answer that. Um, sure. I mean, the benefit, number one benefit is as an emerging artist, you don't really get uh, too many possibilities to uh, exhibit your work. And that's exactly what we're doing. And we're trying to make it the most accessible to everyone. Uh, we are really, we have lowered the fees down to the bare minimum. We're only asking 15 euros per application mm -hmm. and nothing else, which is unheard of. Um, yeah. That's benefit number one. You get to exhibit. You don't get. You don't have to pay a, a whole lot of money, and uh, you get to exhibit in a beautiful space that of Fabrica del Vapore in the center of Milan. Uh, more benefits. I can think of more. <laughs> Media coverage, I suppose. Media coverage. <laughs> Good marketing. Um, marketing. Curatorial cover as well. Okay. And um, on top of this, I was going to ask if you, as a member of the public, would like to come and see the uh, art fair. Is there a ticket or how can people book? Uh, there is not a, an entry ticket for the first edition. We've decided to really leave it open to everyone so everyone would come and see and we would get the most visitors possible. Okay. Um, Eleonora is asking uh, if the pieces will be for sale. Yes, they're going to be absolutely for sale uh, with all the prices uh, very transparently disclosed. We're not going to do any of uh, behind the bar negotiations. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to either sell them on, on, on an online platform or uh, in, in a physical uh, sale During the fair. at the fair. Yeah. Okay, okay. Are galleries also allowed to join the fair or is it mainly just artists? It's for artists only. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. I, I had this question myself. So um, are you going to invite collectors? Somebody is asking. Yes, we will invite the collectors. We have, uh, since we all come from the art fair, art fair or art gallery or an art background in general, all of our um, association partners, mm -hmm. we have uh, an extensive uh, mailing list, let's say, of collectors and people who are really um, interested in this concept and they're uh, interested in uh, this innovative approach. And they would surely like to uh, come and see and buy. Which is always good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you guys have any more questions, Marina and I will switch to Italian very soon. So we give the opportunity to Italian artists to uh, understand more about the art fair. Okay, we've got one more question from Eleonora. Um, so is these only for artists and pieces are for sale? Is it the fair itself selling the pieces? So you kind of answered these already, but maybe you can sort of um, summarize. If you get into technicalities, yes. 
we sign a consignment contract with an artist who consigns an artwork for the duration of the fair. And the art fair, therefore, Rea Arte, the association, is selling the artwork. Okay, I see. So for that period of time, the work will be reserved for the fair as a, as a right to um, sell, yeah, exactly. in the first place. Okay, okay, wonderful. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have any more questions, but otherwise we're gonna uh, switch to Italian. So we give the opportunity to Italian artists as well to get a bit more about what art um, fair rea is about. Uh, but please feel free to send questions through. Um, Eleonora is asking, the art fair is an art gallery. I guess you could say so, but mm -hmm. we don't um, employ the artists full time. Mm -hmm. We're just giving them this platform uh, to sell and to exhibit and to promote their work for three days. Mm -hmm. And that's where our relationship, it doesn't end, but it stops until another edition. <laughs> I see. And you're planning like second editions or third editions or once a year? Yeah, we're planning uh, a yearly edition, yeah. yeah. Yeah, And are you planning to do so in Italy or are you taking it abroad? Or are you collaborating with any art fair so there would be a representation um, of RIA art fair elsewhere? Well, for now we have, uh, we're doing it in Italy because we're really seeing that there is this niche that's not filled by anyone else. Mm -hmm. That's why we see it working here. Probably in the future we can uh, look at uh, possibilities of taking it elsewhere. But for mm -hmm. now, we can do Milan, we can look at other cities and probably that's where I see So maybe perhaps if there's people listening or watching this, um, they can maybe, you know, suggest locations. So if you're interested in taking rare art fair to your city, um, maybe you can let Marina know for the next edition. <laughs> um, Okay, we've got a couple of more questions coming through. Do artists need to have the ultimate form of work to participate? Um, they don't because, uh, I mean, we, know, we understand that we're now in, what, March? And mm -hmm. the fair is going to take place in October. So until October, the artists may come up with other pieces, other artworks that they decide to exhibit. So we give them this freedom to to present an artwork that is exemplary of their uh, artistic practice, but, not, but that is not defining, that it's not definitely going to be in the fair in October. Okay, so there is, there is room for uh, flexibility in terms of which works will be the, the final one exhibited at the fair. And yeah. you as an artist, would you be able to, let's say, have multiple pieces, or is it just the one per artist? Uh, it will, mm -hmm. It will depend on the curatorial project that's mm -hmm. uh, going to be uh, developed by curators, mm -hmm. and it's going to depend on the size of the artwork. Okay. Okay, so somebody's saying that is willing to apply and they will take a look at the website, awesome. which is super great. Mm -hmm. um, okay, somebody's saying they've missed a lot of the English info. Yes, so there will be information available on reafair.com. So maybe, Marina, if you want to type this in into the chat so that people yep, can go and have a look. Again. And also, just to remind everyone, I, uh, we're downloading all these videos and making them um, in, a, in a podcast, and videos will soon be available. So don't worry, you'll be able to catch up on all of this. And it will stay live 24 hours on Instagram, so you can re-watch it. Um, okay, so no problem. <laughs> um, so um, I think if you're good to maybe switch to Italian and um, share a few words with the Italian artists who are now, most of them unfortunately, in quarantine as, as ourselves as well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, if everyone, anyone uh, watching has questions, please do send them through. We'll ask them, uh, we'll ask to Marina to answer and we can definitely um, reply in English or Italian. Okay, ciao Marina, sei di Rea Artfair, eh, una delle fondatrici. Oh, uh, by the way, something we didn't mention in, in English is that this is a all-female team. Mm -hmm. 
which is fantastic. I'm so proud Indeed. of that. <laughs> ok. E, Marina è qui con noi oggi per parlarci di Rea Art Fair, un progetto iniziato a Milano da un gruppo tutto al femminile. Marina, se vuoi raccontarci com'è nata questa esperienza e di cosa si tratta. Ok. Allora, il progetto si è nato, diciamo, ad autunno, quando io ed alcuni amici del corso che sto facendo in beni culturali ed economia ed anche amici in giro per Milano che si occupano sempre delle gallerie, delle, eh, sono sempre impegnati nel campo dell'arte, ci siamo messi insieme e abbiamo capito che esista un'esigenza e una mancanza di una fiera d'arte per gli artisti emergenti e una piattaforma di esposizione per eh, studenti delle accademie di belle arti. Poi, eh, come ho già detto, questa cosa di degree shows e di eh, esposizioni a fine anno in Italia sono, mancano. Eh, quindi abbiamo deciso di sviluppare un'idea un eh, di una fiera d'arte che potrebbe sia rappresentare quei studen quegli studenti delle accademie che gli artisti emergenti in generale. Quindi e in Italia non, non c'è una fiera fino ad oggi dedicata a studenti che lasciano le accademie o le scuole d'arte e vogliono in qualche modo entrare nel, nel mercato dell'arte o avere la possibilità di esibire? Eh, non c'è, direi di no e poi se c'è, se ci sono delle fiere cosiddette di vanità eh, mm -hmm. uno deve pagare le cifre abbastanza serie per entrarci che poi per molti, molti studenti eh, è un, un qualcosa da, da considerare non è accessibile, non certo. è accessibile. e quindi qual è la, la, eh, la quota di entrata per, per partecipare a Rea Art Fair? Eh, a Rea la quota è di 15 euro e, um, che è piuttosto accessibile eh, molto accessibile abbiamo, sì. <ride> abbiamo fatto di tutto per poter tenerlo lì per poter tenerla così bassa la, la, la tassa di iscrizione, uh -huh. perché ci crediamo veramente che ehm, ci vuole una piattaforma e una, un evento di questo genere. Uh -huh. Ok, we've got a question coming through in English this time. Can artists submit video files for display on an art fair provided display or projector, um, like for example at Kadath? Um, And is the artist responsible for the artwork as well? Um, thanks for the question. So technically we are um, trying to really uh, minimize the, the hardware and the employment of our own resources. We're not a for-profit fair and we're not, uh, so we're not requesting large sums of uh, participation fees. The only thing that you pay is 15 euros of uh, participation um, tax. And uh, that's where it is. So I don't personally see, I will have to speak to my uh, co-curators um, on, uh, on this issue, but I don't believe that the hardware question is, um, is an easy one <laughs> for us. Are you looking into perhaps um finding um, hardware locally so that people from abroad could um, display that works, perhaps? Could that be an option? Uh, that's what we will absolutely try to do as soon as the quarantine is over mm -hmm. and everyone will start moving and things will get going. Uh, but for now, I don't have an answer for this question, for now. Okay, all right. So maybe we can come back to, to people yeah. if they've got questions around the uh, hardware. Um, okay, I will switch back to Italian just so that we can finish the um, conversation for the Italian audience watching. Um, somebody is saying, good job, Marina, and all the team. So thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, e quindi per, per l'arte ehm, gli artisti possono, possono eh, mandare la loro application attraverso il sito o come funziona? Sì, possono mandarlo attraverso il sito o se non riescono a farlo così possono sempre fare tramite mail 
e mm -hmm. avvisandoci ovviamente in anticipo. Ok, Ma e qual è la data di funziona. scadenza? Ok, perfetto. <ride> Allora, la data di scadenza di primi, di early bird, cosiddetti, è il 10 maggio. E la data più avanzata, quella finale, è il, il primo aprile. Ok, perfetto. Quindi c'è tempo, diciamo, fino al primo aprile per… No, no aprile. Il primo luglio, scusa. Il primo luglio. Ok, <ride> so, ci, ci, sono, ci sono un po' di mesi. Sì. Scusami, abbiamo fatto un po' di switching tra inglese e italiano, sì. quindi no, so che è un po' confusionario. Però ti ringrazio di, di fare questa intervista eh, bilingue, è molto importante che diamo la possibilità anche al, agli italiani. Um, quindi la fiera dov'è che si terrà? C'è una, una sì. location già? La sede è quella di Fabbrica del Vapore che ci è stata concessa dalla, dal comune di Milano uh -huh. e siamo molto contenti perché è uno spazio molto bello, molto luminoso, molto aperto, con delle vetrate molto alti. Uh -huh. Eh, molto c'erano già delle fiere come Milano Scultura che si erano trovate molto molto bene in quel spazio lì eh, quindi eh, ci auguriamo un, una bellissima esposizione perfetto e avete intenzione di continuare le fiere e creare una seconda terza quarta edizione sì assolutamente non è un progetto unico ma è un progetto che Cerchiamo di, far porta di portare avanti nel tempo e fare la seconda, terza, quarta edizione. Perfetto. E sarà sempre a Milano o siete disponibili anche a spostare la fiera in altre città? Sì, non ne abbiamo pensato, non l'abbiamo approfondito, ma secondo me eh, una fiera nomadica o una fiera che viaggia è anche un'idea molto interessante, un'idea un che ci si può sviluppare. Va bene. E, um, mi ricordo in inglese prima abbiamo, abbiamo parlato appunto di varie categorie. Puoi dirci quali sono? Sì, allora, le, le categorie sono pittura o mm -hmm. disegno, scultura, fotografia, e media, medie miste, le cose che non si definiscono facilmente come ceramica ed altro, eh, fotografia, ho già detto, eh, arte digitale, eh, street art, e eh, video e performance art. Perfetto, quindi c'è un ampio spettro di, di sì. categorie. E sì. come dicevi, la fiera è appunto dedicata a giovani artisti che escono da scuole d'arte e vogliono entrare in questo mercato dell'arte, ma anche avere la possibilità di esporre con un, con un accesso molto, molto basso, perché appunto dicevi è solo di 15 euro. Um, se un artista volesse partecipare e magari ha qualche anno in più, però è ancora alle prime esperienze. Può farlo? Sì, assolutamente, perché eh, dopo una approfondita discussione di gruppo abbiamo deciso di eh, togliere tutti i limiti di età, mm -hmm. perché riteniamo importante che la fiera riman rimanga accessibile anche nei, nel senso di... Ehm, di eh, appunto di eh, poter accederci essendo un artista emergente dopo il 35 anni. Perfetto, quindi è accessibile, accessibile a tutti con un focus più mirato su artisti emergenti. Perfetto, e le opere possono essere vendute? Sì, assolutamente, saranno tutte in vendita con un contratto da, da parte nostra di conto vendita eh, per mm -hmm. quei tre giorni della fiera quindi eh, saranno in vendita tramite l'associazione. Mm -hmm. Ok, e gli artisti possono anche partecipare con qualche opera in più o è soltanto ristretta ad un'opera per ciascun artista? No, non c'è questa restrizione, eh, ma quello dovrebbe decidersi più avanti, una volta che abbiamo tutte le iscrizioni, sappiamo più o meno le dimensioni o diciamo, le prassi artistiche di ogni artista per poter fare l'allestimento. Mm -hmm. um, prima avevamo avuto una domanda circa eh, l'installazione per esempio di hardware e una risposta o una tip, suggestion that we're getting through now is that 
uh, you can look into renting um, a projector uh, and a couple of headphones and perhaps the same screen or projector can be used by multiple artists um, so um, qualcuno ha, ha consigliato magari a Marina di di vedere se c'è il modo a livello locale a Milano di noleggiare o avere la possibilità di, di avere dei mh, proiettori o degli schermi dove magari dell'arte può essere eh, visibile e, e molteplici artisti possono esibire allo stesso tempo. È una soluzione che pensi sia possibile? Do you think this is something that is doable for you to do? Um, possibly we can consider this for sure. Um, the problem here is that in an art fair, um, every square meter of space counts. So we can't dedicate a 10 square meter wall space to a single projection. So I think this could be an interesting idea and we'll definitely look into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, looping uh, multiple artists, multiple artworks, is uh, an interesting idea. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay. Um, tornando agli artisti e alle, um, al modo per far domanda, um, quali, quali sono le date? Mi dicevi appunto il primo luglio è l'ultima data per far domanda. E la prima data invece gli early birds? È la prima data è il 10 maggio. Ok, perfetto. Grazie per aver fatto yeah. il reminder a tutti quanti. E se nel caso avessimo delle domande o potessimo raggiungervi per chiedervi ogni informazione, come, come facciamo? Siamo disponibili 24 ore su 24 su Instagram, <ride> chiocciolarea.fair, oppure info chiocciolareafair.com. Perfetto. Um, if anyone is interested in getting in touch with Marina and asking her more questions about Rare Art Fair and how to submit the work, um, you can do so by contacting her and the rest of the team. She will give you the answers now. <laughs> how do we contact you? Um, on Instagram or at the Rare Fair profile. Here's mm -hmm. some. Let me just. Here we go. Okay, so that's available on the on the chat. So is at rare.fair on Instagram and you can follow them as well and keep up to date with all the news. Um, something we didn't mention in Italian is um, what would be the coverage of media? Quale, quale, um, quali sono i benefici per un artista che partecipa alla fair? Abbiamo menzionato le vendite. Um, c'è anche del marketing o c'è anche uh, una sorta di, di um, uh, come dire, marketing e promozione, articoli che possono essere rilasciati su magazines? Or... Sì, allora per la comunicazione abbiamo una parte veramente eh, in interessante e forte sull'influencer marketing che abbiamo Elisabetta Art Nomad Milan che ci sta sopportando e poi abbiamo una collaborazione interessante con un giornale eh, che si chiama The Art Gorgeous, che è un giornale internazionale, eh, anche un po' alla femminile, in quanto siamo un gruppo femminile e ci stiamo aiutando. Eh, okay. E altro sì, abbiamo diversi altri partner che si stanno sviluppando in questi giorni, visto che tutti siamo costretti a rimanere a casa e quindi si, fa, si fanno eh, delle conversazioni e delle proposte interessanti ok, molto bene grazie eh, vuoi, vuoi anche dire quali sono i nomi delle, delle altre tue co-founder di questa Re Art Fair? sì, assolutamente poi stiamo più di, di eh, quanto, lo di quanto eh, ci vedete sul profilo perché eh, siamo tipo in 15 e in quella foto, sì, nella foto che abbiamo pubblicato so, siamo soltanto in 5 perché l'abbiamo scattata in, nei tempi di uh, Covid, quindi uh, non c'erano certo. tutti presenti. Um, okay. Sì, c'è la mia vicepresidente Antonella, eh, uh -huh. che sta facendo anche lei il corso di economia dei beni culturali, e uh -huh. c'è la segretaria Pelin, eh, quindi siamo in tre il nucleo, e poi eh, dei curatori eh, interessanti, talentuosi, eh, delle ragazze 
eh, molto brave, ce ne abbiamo altre, altre 13. <ride> Wow, un bel team. Ok, so Marina was saying that the team is not just the people that you see on the picture that we posted today, but there's actually 15 people behind the, the fair, organizing the fair. Yeah. Ok, all right. It's been such a nice chat, Marina, and thank you so much for telling us through, um, you know, what the fair is about, for who is about, and what are the planning for for the upcoming months. I hope you stay well and keep creative. Thank and thank you so much for um, all the answers you provided to, to everyone. Just a quick reminder, this video will be available on Mokda profile for about 24 hours, but we will then download it and make it available afterwards if you would like to rewatch it. Um, so if you have any more questions, you can contact Marina directly or the team at Rea Art Fair. If you want to share the website or the um, email once again. Okay, we'll share it now. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Serena, for having me. I really enjoyed uh, yeah, sharing this info and hopefully a lot of you will find it useful and apply. I encourage you to go and apply now. And we're really waiting for all of your applications. Okay, it's been wonderful. Thank you so much for connecting with us tonight. And you take care and speak to you soon. Thank you, everyone, Thank for joining you. the live and for your questions. It's been very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. Speak bye soon. Bye. 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 bye.